sound of that was the alternator and today I'll show you how to change it first remove the air box you can either take it off down by the turbo you can start off up here this bolt there all right so I got the air box out disconnected the batteries with 5 16th ratcheting wrench and then the next step take this off plugs right into the alternator just a little clip it takes a few minutes it's stuck on there and I already pre-loosened this 12 millimeter bolt nut no bolt here all right so then the next step is this is the tensioner pulley and you're gonna get in there with a ratchet and I'll show you that next all right so we got the ratchet here biggest motherfucker I got it's gonna be hard to do this <clears throat> think they say no all right it's no problem okay just like the oil plug so you can move the fan anyway actually that motherfucker all the way down <laughs> take the belt off right here I can't really show you because I only got two hands so there it is ratchet in there that's the tensioner there you go okay and that took me all of two seconds push the tensioner in pull the belt off from there let it go there you go Okay, we got the belt off from the bottom. Now I just slipped it off the alternator. And to keep it as simple as possible, I put the belt back on the pulley down here because it will come off so you don't have to remember. You just slip it back over the alternator. Okay, again, we got our another 15 millimeter handy dandy ratchet. There's a bolt there. Right there. Just want to crack them suckers off and we'll be good to go. Once I do that, I'll show you. Alright, so I got the alternator out, and when I say you gotta hit it with this rubber mallet, I mean you gotta fucking hit the thing. Because it is stuck in there. It's probably the original alternator. Um, Try not to do what I did. I was swinging that hammer like crazy and I broke the clip. Hopefully the auto parts store won't have a problem with that, but it's a junk alternator anyways, so. But yeah, the alternator is out. Probably took me, I don't know, a half hour, maybe an hour with looking for my tools because they are everywhere. So I probably spent just as much time looking for tools as I did changing the alternator.